All right, so I've been searching on Scopus, and I know a lot of you that I've sent my Friday email list to have um, a recommendation to use interlibrary loan. What's that all about? So here I have an article, um, and I clicked on the SFX button, and it has something that shouldn't give you a heart attack, but it says no electronic full text available. Oh, what do I do? A lot of people just abandon it. But if you scroll down to the bottom down here, there's something that says get it through interlibrary loan. How does that work? Let me show you. Let me close that. Um, Marriott Library homepage. Open up another tab, by the way. Keep your current Scopus tab open. Um, and a, there's a neat trick. Marriott Library homepage, there's the interlibrary loan link. Most academic libraries have this. You can get it's a free service. You, if you've never used this before, will have to register. So um, put down your the basic information that it's asking for. Most critical is the email address because that's all the, the ways that they'll contact you. Um, I already have an account, so let me log in. Okay, through this on the left hand side you can request an article or a book. Excuse me, and what it'll do when I click on article is it'll say, okay, what's the journal title, what's the volume, all that metadata that you have in your um, citation, um, you would put in there. But here's a neat trick. If you have this interlibrary loan screen open, and then you go over to Scopus and you click on that SFX button again, if you scroll down and you click on interlibrary loan, from that citation, it will do its little magical thing and it will dump all of that metadata right into the article request form, including the page information, just everything. The journal that it came from, the title of the article, all you have to do is click on submit request. When you click on submit request, it sends it to our, I think it's on the fourth floor, our interlibrary loan. They'll find a library that has it, they'll ask, that library will scan it in PDF form and they'll send it back to our system where you can retrieve it. Um, it's seamless, you don't have to talk to anybody, easiest thing, and it takes about a day. At the end of the semester when it gets really busy it might take like a, a couple days depending. If you get a print item like a book then it obviously takes longer, but if you're just getting an article, it's the easiest thing.